So, so, so here we go. Let's get this good. A gem, I love this. A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. Smooth water makes a very unskilled sailor. But a sailor keeps going through it all over and over and over again. They get so skilled. Matter of fact, somebody's never been through anything. I remember I posted before Daniel said over in Afghanistan, when they sent new guys over, he was begging about building with him. He said, because when you got into action, you needed somebody that you knew would stand by you and wouldn't drop the ball, wouldn't run, and wouldn't get scared and go the other way. You wanted somebody that had your back. When you've gone through something, you know what it's like, and you can have somebody's back. Amen? So, accept the presence of your pain. Watch this. This is so cool. Here's my first thing about pain. Listen carefully. Pain keeps our feet on the ground. Our knees on the floor, too. But pain keeps us our feet on the ground. To keep me from becoming conceited. That means to be uh, above measure. It means to have an improper view of yourself. To, to, to lose focus of what's important. So, so it protects us, prevents us, and it protects us from an implosion. I've seen some of the young preachers. They're coming up in the ranks, and, 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 and I helped train them, and I watched them, and they went from being so timid and, and feeling so inferior, and we kept working with them, working with them, and said, watch this, God's got this, you go ahead. And, and, and then, after a while, I've seen this happen on more than one occasion, then all of a sudden now they start filling their Cheerios, and then they don't need anybody else anymore. It's bad. I, I, was, I, I always like to give young ministers a chance, and and, and I was at this. And obviously somebody had to put a bad taste in one of these preachers' mouths. This was fine. It had the same problems like anybody else, but it was fine. And this young preacher came up that his 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 uh his uncle had been a pastor there. His uncle got killed in a car wreck. The next pastor came, I came out to that pastor. But his uncle was killed in a car wreck. Matter of fact, they went to the scene, and when they went to pick him up, the rescue boys, his uncle said, please don't touch me. The angels are coming for me as we speak. And he died with a smile on his face right now. But this young man come down, I thought because his uncle had been there, I could help him open some doors, you know, whatever. He comes to me at camp meeting and says, he says, hey bro, let me think I can, you know, I, I'm, 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 I'm uh, y'all heard of Jensen Franklin. Some of Jensen Franklin's people. I, I knew Jensen Franklin when he was down here. Alright, and so, 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 he comes up and says, hey, do you think I can get me a, a chance to do a revival at your church? And I said, I just waited for a minute. And I said, uh-huh. He said, because I got, I know what those people need, and I got a message, and when I get through with them, they won't know what the world hit them, I got. I said, never mind, we don't need you. You see, big head got in his way. So, because pain keeps my feet on the ground. And I don't get to think about myself as some big, big whopper, whooper, duper, whooper, or I think I'm somebody I'm not. Watch this. Pain, this is what the pain will do for you. Nothing else will do. Watch this. Pain becomes an eye opener. I was sitting there singing a while ago. You know, it's amazing to me. We we're singing Amazing Grace. I'm beginning to think I've got to several Alzheimer's units. And, and I talk to people with Alzheimer's every day, including my mother in law. And I can go to a guitar and I sing, and sometimes I ask them, do they have any requests? And a lot of people have already forgotten the songs. They've actually just forgot all of them. I get them start playing, they look like them. People I know, I know them personally. I know that they knew that song, they even led praise and worship, and now they don't even remember the words. But without, without any problem, the one song that everybody in all the Alzheimer's units remember, the one song, guess what? Amazing Grace. It's powerful. I can sing it and come back and sing a song and sing it again. They won't even, some of them are not about being funny. They wouldn't even know that I sang it to begin with. But I said, what y'all want to hear? Immediately. Amazing grace. Even in Alzheimer's, the person's still feeling the tug of God's grace on their body. So it's an eye opener, but also it opens my eyes to other people that are hurting around here. 
And now I can't go up and say, well, if you just do one, two, or three, these three steps, you'll be delivered and everything will be fine. You can walk around and have no problems. Have you ever had told you that? Them live in the real world that comes in with that. Okay, well, so it's God's tool actually to protect us. Well, praise God, I must be a bad dude because he got to protect me from a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know something? So now look, so I see it. Again, it keeps our feet on the ground. 